Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Water of Hydration Virtual Lab. All right. So basically, we have these two hydrates. All right. And you'll click on you'll click on them. Okay. And some mass will appear uh, in this crucible, and you'll see a top view of the crucible here, and it'll read uh, 1.00 grams. Okay. So let's uh, try the first sample, uh, this copper two sulfate. Okay. So we get 1.00 grams, all right? And it starts out blue, all right? So what we can do is now, notice if I mouse over the crucible, my mouse pointer turns into tongs, okay? So um, in the lab, you would always use tongs to move your crucible, okay? You should always assume uh, that if you're using a Bunsen burner with crucible, that the crucible is hot, all right? So, when a crucible is hot, it'll still look white, all right? So it can still burn you, okay? All right, so we click on this, and the crucible uh, appears here, all right? So mm, we have some options here. We can leave the flame um, in this uh, reddish-yellow color. However, one, there's two negatives with this. First, it'll take longer to desiccate our hydrate, okay? So if you notice this, it's slowly changing color, all right? If I click this again, you know, we dried it out a tiny bit and notice the uh, mass decreased, okay? So let me put it back. But let me change, let me increase the air flow rate. If I increase the air flow rate, the flame becomes blue. That's much hotter. So the sample is desiccating faster. Notice the color is changing faster, okay? So this copper 2 sulfate um, um, X hydrate starts out blue, and then when it's completely desiccated, it'll end up white, okay? Now, I'm gonna slowly, I'm gonna put it back to this uh, red flame, okay? There's another negative of this red flame in the lab. So this red flame is indicative of incomplete combustion. Another negative of this is you'll get some soot, some little um, carbon uh, soot on your um, crucible and well that'll impact your mass and you'll get an improper um, value. So again let's keep the keep the airflow rate high, the flame blue, and it'll rapidly desiccate our sample. We can move our sample back and forth uh, until it's uh, until the mass uh, remains constant. Okay let's just check real quick. Okay uh, 0 0.639 grams. Let's Move it back one more time, and let's just see if it uh, changes, okay? Sometimes you have to do this a few times in the lab um, to make sure the mass isn't fluctuating anymore. But by our color appearance, it uh, doesn't seem to be changing, okay? Okay, so 0.639 grams seems like our mass of our anhydrate, okay? Uh, no water in the sample, okay? Great. Um, the sample basically changed from a blue to almost completely uh, white. You know, in the lab, uh, it'll be very difficult to get rid of uh, the blue in the very center here unless you leave it for a long, long time. All right. So that's the first sample. It goes from 1 grams, or excuse me, 1.000 grams to 0 0.639 grams. Okay, let's. You can either hit refresh or uh, reset. It's the same thing as refresh. And let's use our second sample, our cobalt 2 chloride. Okay, so we got 1.00 grams of that, and it's purple. It's rather a uh, pretty sample. Okay, so again, we use our tongs and we carry this over here. Um, we increase the air flow rate. Uh, the, the color of our flame changes to blue. Uh, a rather hot flame. Incidentally, uh, you can increase this in the lab further, but if you increase this too much, you'll blow out your uh, your flame. Okay, so you have to modulate this appropriately in the lab. And notice our uh, color is slowly changing. It's changing from a, a purple to something else. Um, we'll just let that go for a little bit. Uh, let's just see how we're doing. Okay, we started at 
one gram. Now we're at 0.835 grams. Let's put it back and uh, see how we're doing. Okay, the color is still changing. Um, for those who are programmers, I, I'm using a radial uh, gradient here and um, having the RGB colors change uh, from one to another as a function of time, uh, in case you're curious how that's uh, occurring. Um, okay, so almost done. Okay, so it looks pretty good. Let's check it. Uh, 0.546 grams. Let's put it back. Wait a couple seconds. Okay, yeah, uh, 0.546 grams, and that's it. Uh, each of your samples starts with one grams and ends up with, well, this sample ends up with uh, 0.546 grams. And from those two numbers, you're able to get the hydration state. Um, something that, uh, one thing that's in the um, uh, lab manual, uh, what is the mass of the crucible in the lid? I originally did have masses for those here, but uh, it was suggested to me to uh, uh, have it uh, teared. Okay, so just put a, uh, no measurement or NA for, um, the mass of the crucible and lid in the lab manual. And that's about it. Okay, well, I hope you enjoy it.